There are many design elements you can add to your HTML documents using CSS, also known as cascading style sheets. This video will show you how to add a shadow effect to the text in your HTML document. Now, adding a shadow effect will not only add emphasis to the targeted text, in this example it's going to be the H1 tag, but it will also give your document that wow factor that could keep your visitor on your site longer and even coming back to your site more regularly. Here, let's take a look at an example in our editor. Now, I've already added some content down here in the body section, H1 tag, H2 tag, and a couple of paragraphs, and I've already added the CSS syntax for our text shadow style up here in the head section between the opening and closing style tag. And there's really not a whole lot to it. We've got the selector here. In this case, we're going to be styling the H1 tag. You can do the same thing with the H2 or paragraph or even add classes or ID selectors to this, but we're going to keep things kind of basic for now. And we've got the opening curly bracket and then the property here is text dash shadow then we separate the property from the value with the colon and then we've got these four items here the first one the minus two pixel second one the two pixel the third one the three pixel and then the fourth item is the hexadecimal color code for red now the breakdown here is this first item the minus two that's for the offset of the horizontal the second one is the offset for the vertical. The third one is the blur. And then the fourth one is the color of the blur. Now, of course, me just talking is not going to help you get the visual. So let me go ahead and open this up in our browser to show you how this works. I'm just going to keep things here inside of the Komodo browser. And there we are. Now, we've got the red blur. That's this third item here. And the overall shadow is offset horizontally minus two. Now, if we were to make this, let's say, minus 5, just for demonstration purposes, you can see how it shoots it over to the left that much more. In this case, 3 pixels. And if we were to maybe just get rid of this, minus, it should shoot it over to the right. And if we wanted to make the offset vertically even more or less, then we can adjust the second number thusly, and so on. And you can even adjust, of course, whether or not you wanted more blur or less blur. Now let's kick this up a notch and using the text shadow property, we're going to create a cool 3D effect. And I'm just going to paste this right over this. Now what I wanted to demonstrate here is not just the cool 3D effect, but how you're using the text shadow property to get that 3D effect. Now I just arbitrarily picked the color of the H1 tag text, but of course you would want to pick the color here to better match the surroundings on your HTML document. The thing I wanted to mainly point out here, though, was that I'm using seven different values for that text shadow property to give that standing off the page type 3D effect. In each of these, I'm not using any blur whatsoever except for the last item here. Well, here, let me just show you. And I'm using the impact font, and I've really bumped up the size to 60 pixels. Let's go ahead and save this. And there you go. So you can see how it's kind of standing off the page there. And you can adjust these various colors here to, again, better match the surroundings. Play around with this. Now, one thing I should note here, though, is that to remain W3C compliant, you should have a background color of the body section defined whenever you are adjusting the color of any of the text in your document. So to keep things all kind of compliant here, let me go ahead and throw in a background color as well. I mean, it will still work just fine without the body background color being defined. But again, to keep things compliant with the W3C folks, you might want to go ahead and add this in here. And there you have it. This brings us to the end of this video on using CSS and the text shadow property on your HTML document.